Thank you so much, uh, everyone. Uh, so, very good morning to everyone. I welcome you all to this amazing learning session. Uh, my name is Preeti. I'm one of the sales specialists at Protest Professional Training. So before we start, let me give you a quick overview about us. Protest is a certification institute which provide upskilling courses to the professionals like HR generalists, HR analytics, advanced certification program, POSH trainer trainer certification to deliver POSH trainings, business analytics for manager certification program, corporate trainer and facilitator trainer trainer certification and certified practitioner coach certification. We also provide customized programs. So all the programs are accredited by the topmost bodies like SHRM, HRCI, CPD and IBAC. I'm so glad to see many existing students team members and aspiring students of protest who have joined this amazing learning session. I would like to know from the audience, what does body language, how does body language helps in effective communication? You can please put your query, your, you know, your thoughts, your concern in the chat box. I would like to repeat my question. How does body language helps in effective communication? I would like to repeat my question once again. How does body language helps in effective communication? Any thoughts, any views? Uh, yes, Umang, uh, you have raised your hand. So you can un you will please unmute yourself and you know share your thoughts. Thank you so much, Preeti, ma'am, for this opportunity. Uh, so what I feel is uh, when we are using our body language, it is a great method to complement our verbal communication. It shows that how interested we are to communicate with somebody. It shows that how we are taking interest and how confident we are while talking with somebody. So I think it's a great compliment, first of all, to give our uh, verbal communication effective. That's what I think. Thank you so much for sharing your thought, Umang. So I have uh, come across in the chat box, Shweta has mentioned 75% message is conveyed um, Dr. Nishat has mentioned being clearly expressive. Gagandeep has mentioned 70% body language, 20% tone of words, yes, of course, and 10% verbal communication role in effective communication. Thank you uh, very much for sharing your thoughts. Uh, now, I would like to introduce to you, uh, to everyone, uh, uh, our guest speakers of today morning, Ms. Maria and Shobhi. So coming into the profile of Maria, she is a dedicated educator affiliated with the British Council, holding a commendable six years of teaching experience. With a diverse and accomplished professional background, she brings a wealth of experience to her role. Throughout her career, she has expertly guided a broad spectrum of learners, including both children and adults. Specializing in the fields of language, communication, and soft skill, she has greatly influenced a diverse audience in her knowledge and guidance. Coming into Shobi's profile, she comes with 24 years of work experience in diverse expertise in corporate resource, human resource development. She found her interest in learning and development. Hence, she has been taking up consulting assignments with small and middle-sized organizations such as Macaulay, ED2 Carrier, Door of Hope, etc. for the past seven years. It's an honor to have Maria and Shobi today morning. Over to you, Maria. Thank you, Preeti, for the lovely introduction. I'm excited about this opportunity to be able to deliver this webinar. And I hope that our webinar today provides you all with valuable insights and a deeper understanding of the topic. Yeah. Without much further ado, let's begin. Uh, we will start with a very short activity. Yeah. I want you all to quickly think about one word Okay, one word that describes you the best. Please don't overthink. Do not write it in the chat box. Just take half a second to think of that one word that describes you. Okay, okay. Um, example, I feel today as magnetic. 
Okay, I hope I will be magnetic and will be able to hold your attention today. So I call myself Magnetic Maria for today. Okay, so what I want you to do is quickly listen to the instructions. Yeah, quickly in the chat box, type it, type what you feel, but do not press enter. Do not press enter. Okay, quickly. Do not press enter. Just type what you feel today. Or what is that one word that represents you? Okay. Okay. Looks like most of you are done. Okay. So I'll say one, two, three. Another dot of three. Please press that enter. Okay. One, two, and three. Enter. Wow. <laughs> Just see the waterfall of all the positive feelings that are coming through. Perfect. 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 Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Blessed energy. Positive. Yes. And I hope our lesson today, our topic today is going to keep make you feel more energized. Okay, festive vibe. Obviously, we are all in the festive vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to hand it over to Shobi. I'll catch up with you in the second half. Yeah. Shobi, all yours. Good morning. How are you all doing today? Like somebody just wrote festive. So I, I hope you guys are enjoying the festive vibe around you. Because this is the beginning of all the festivals and coming three months are going to be full of festivals. Well, I'm feeling very festive. And um, so um, as uh, Preeti started with, uh, you know, introducing the concept of body language, uh, let me just ask you a question. Um, what, according to you, is communication? Um, I would request Maria to please open the whiteboard, Maria. Yeah, so everybody, uh, please uh, unmute yourself and quickly tell us what your views are on communication. What is this communication? I think Hi, Shobhi, the... Gagandhi said. Hi, Gagandhi. It's the uh, uh, body language. 70% uh, of body language uh, is included in uh, effective communication. Okay. So uh, if you can just lower your rate of speech, Maria will be able to write those comments. That's okay. So, that's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Umang wants to say something. 70% of the part of uh, effective communication is played by body language. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Shall I? Uma? Yes, Umang. Yes. So what I feel is communication is a certain point where we can say that there should be a mutual understanding. It is a point where mutual understanding takes place. Okay. All right. Anybody else? So all nonverbal communication are considered in the body language all non verbal no, so, so such as hand and... a, mm -hmm. no what i'm trying to say is i want you uh, i want your understanding on the term communication okay so Not it is on change of thoughts information fact and figures okay so for uh, me communication means to express your thoughts effectively yeah okay and uh -huh. Umang also uh, with thoughts said, uh, no, not Umang, but uh, uh -huh. Shubham also said that facts with thoughts. Uh, according to me, when you, we exchange some kind of information to, from an, to another person is a form of communication. Okay. I think exchange of information is the simplest way to understand communities. Exchange of information. Good. Good. That's a good, uh, I, I would say, summary of communication. 
Okay. Anybody else? Uh, this is not writing in the chat box. So uh, please speak up. We want everybody's views coming on the yeah. white part. Shobhi, I would like to share communication is some, uh, a complete communication would be whatever I want to say is understood by the other person in the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, fine. I, I go with you, whatever you just said. Now, uh, is there anybody who wants to say something more? Um, do you want to share your thoughts? It's more I... like a connection that you build with the, the uh, person in front of you. Um, the Rafa connection. Yeah, okay. Okay. Come on, we are 54. Using I'm various sure mediums, not not only person to person, but also using various uh, modes of uh, communication like uh, uh, written communication or through chat or telephonic conversation. Thank you, Indrani. And so I guess uh, we will start with our expression of communication. Oh, I like those two little puppies in the basket. Okay. So basically, like some of you said, it's the exchange of information. So communication basically is exchange of information, ideas, emotions with another person who's the receiver of that information using a medium. However, Broadly, communication is divided into verbal and non-verbal. So, uh, yeah, so all these body language, mutual understanding, thoughts, facts, I would say, Maria, should go uh, into... Yes. Uh, yes, should go back into this, yeah. So, Let's yeah. cancel that. And expressing ourselves and rapport and connection building is all non-verbal. Because you don't walk up to a person and say, hey, I want to build my rapport with you. I, I, you know, or I want to form a connection with you. You don't say that. These things are very um, sublime and they happen on their own when the communication is effective. All right. So, uh, Maria, can you please stop sharing so that I can. Great. Uh, just give me a minute and I am going to share my screen. Okay, now, now do you see uh, the picture on the top row, which is fourth from the left hand side? I just want somebody to tell me, not all of you together, but somebody, one person, and then the other person. So raise your hand and we'll go to all of you if the time permits. Uh, Somebody has to tell me what, suppose you were standing in front of a person who's sitting like this on the couch. What is the message that this person sending you? Yes, Gagandeep. Uh, it's a feeling sad or uh, thinking about something or feeling stressful. Or you uh, can I'm say sorry. that. Uh... Can you please repeat? It's a feeling sad or thinking about something. I think gum hai kisi ki yaad mein. Okay. So if you were sitting uh, or, or standing in front of this person, this is the feeling you would get, right? Okay. So we... the and So we want to conduct combination. Can we please so, unmute whoever is... Nippon, please mute yourself. Okay, Indrani has raised hands. Indrani, uh, second picture in the bottom row uh, from the left. If you were talking to this person and this person was sitting like this, what is it that you would gather from her body language? Just not serious. Okay. Casual way. Okay. 
so can gagan and indrani tell me why uh, are these two postures distracting or are they distracting first question are they distracting you if if yes. hypothetically speaking if you were talking about work to somebody who's sitting like this in front of you would you be um, interested in talking to this person or would yes. you say oh i'll come back later uh, for first uh, first one i think uh, uh, it's uh, quite distracting because uh, someone will think that uh, might be he is not happy or might be he is uh, depressed or uh, in uh, in a mode of uh, you can say uh, stress and while uh, if we talk about a second person in second row uh, i think she is uh, paying attention to somebody and uh, or uh, might be she is uh, thinking about someone okay now here's the thing gagandeep my question was if you were standing in front of this person and talking about work would you consider this an effective recipient somebody who's no. whom you're <clears throat> talking to would you call this no. person right no no okay. for first for first That's... oh uh, no. i think it's a negative approach from that person uh, who is sitting towards work right there is no proper listening and there is no eye to eye contact with the other person great okay so here we are talking about non verbal communication and how non verbal communication is expressed okay so this communication is expressed through emotions is uh, expressed through attitude gestures postures you just saw an example of a posture right and facial expressions walking styles can somebody tell me how walking style is um can be misread can somebody uh, may i okay we shall discuss yes please yes please um, yeah so let's take for example when you have a you know communication or something you know unhealthy communication with your colleague or with your subordinates so you just walk very fast you know by rushing that person i think that is uh, that's what i can express the uh, yes because you because you're trying to avoid that person you will walk past this person like you're rushing somewhere to avoid or okay. after i or either the, the person will be standing just uh, you know right on the right hand or on the left hand side of me and i'll just uh, rush uh, without uh, greeting that person exactly exactly and distance very important factor either consciously or involuntarily so basically what i'm trying to say subconsciously these are the factors that dictate our body language and this is the way we non verbally communicate with the person standing besides us in front of us or group of people we are talking to do you also know that even uh, like indrani said exchange of information via medium so even when um uh, you know you're talking to somebody over the phone um you will know whether that person is smiling and talking to you or you or is not smiling and talking to you that's how powerful non verbal communication is and i will talk about how that can be uh, you know figured out whether the person at the other side of of the phone is happy to speak with you or not so it's not only through your tongue that you communicate it's also through your body and sometimes most of the times in fact uh more than 50% of the times we are not focusing on this silent uh you know communication that's happening and that is why our communication is not effective with the recipient okay is misunderstood or misinterpreted or uh, let's say you are not on the same page right so it's it's and this is what is called body language now we are going to discuss a very important um you know i've drawn this diagram to show you small factors that 
contribute to this non-verbal communication. And we will begin with, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to navigate through my uh, screen so that I can see all of you. Okay, yes. So the first thing is appearance. Why do you think appearance is important in body language? Why do you think they say that you should look a certain way when you go for a business meeting or an interview or to a wedding? Or, uh, you know, why, why do you think appearance plays this role, critical role? Can somebody please tell me? I am not able to see the uh, viewers. So, Maria, if you can just monitor that and ask them to raise yes, hands and tell uh, us. Yeah, can you? Uh, I think it's Umang. Uh, let me see if anyone else would like to. I think we'll give it to Umang. Umang. Mm -hmm. Umang. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. So, actually, appearance plays a very important role because whenever we are somewhere, and I think the outfit that we carry is very important. For example, as you mentioned right now, that if we are going to a party, we should have a different outfit. If we are at the home, we should have a comfortable outfit. So as per the comfort and as per the, you know, the requirement of a particular place, I think outfit is very important. And that shows that how professional you are or how do you deal in a certain way, in a certain position. So that's what I feel appearance is very important. Excellent, Umang. That's, that's a brilliant explanation of appearance Thank basically you, yeah and basically uh you know because even before you enter you know your appearance is creating an image for you uh, in front of the person whether it is online offline it is creating an impression and people tend to form opinions even before they meet you even looking, I mean, just looking at you, they will have an opinion about you, right? So that is the reason appearance is very, very important. Now, head movements. Now, head movements, um, is there anybody who'd like to share uh, except for Umang? And okay. when there is uh, nodding or responding to someone's uh, communication or might be uh, let's say uh, you are communicating something to me and uh, my head is uh, for south and uh, which means uh, i'm not uh, reacting to your or responding to your uh, communication great gagandeep yes very much close to that head movements basically means um, hypothetically speaking uh, gagan is giving me um, let's say gyan on on some current affair and I am not interested. I will say, yeah. So Gagan will know that I'm not receiving his information very well. I am not uh, very uh, in sync with his thought process. And uh, if someone, if you're talking to someone and that person says, keeps shaking his head, is also distracting. So what, when effective communication is when you are making an eye contact with the person and when your head moves in accordance to that eye contact and your body language is in alignment to that, that's when if, you know, the head will move according to the right speed, the right, you know, the information that you're receiving. Now, uh, if I start talking about hand movement, uh, you know, oh my God, uh, hand movements are really not uh, very uh, important. I don't think so. They are very important. What am I doing? What am I doing? You look, you're restless or nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Restlessness, nervousness, disinterest. Um, I'm not interested in what you're talking. Uh, you know, these are also conveyed through your hand movement. So when I'm talking to you, I'm using my hands. 
to communicate with you so that you it's in alignment with the information that I'm imparting, right? So it's it's necessary, hand movements are necessary, however, to an extent where it does not attract the, uh, sorry, distract the receiver, okay? Must not distract the receiver. So suppose I'm talking, oh, you know, uh, today uh, we are going to talk about body movement and, uh, I'm sorry, body language. And, uh, you know, if I sit like this, am I even conveying the message effectively? No, I'm not, okay? Let's move to eye movements. Now, eye movements is rolling your eyes, looking away when someone is talking to you, um, or not looking at that person. You know, eye contact is very, very necessary. Now, you don't have to literally stare into their eyes, but what you have to do is that ensure that it is more than 50% of the times that you are looking at that person who's talking to you. And you may have some things to do which you know normally we see uh, people writing or scribbling something uh, and then looking up so that is all all right but there has to be an element of increased um, eye contact all right then we move to facial expressions now facial expressions are um, yeah okay you know, like you're fed up, you're not interested, you're you're absolutely just, you're, you're conveying the message that, you know, this is, just finish this and get lost because I'm not interested. But in place of that, if you have a pleasant smile, you don't have to show all your 32 or 30 or whatever number of teeth you have, but you have to have a pleasant smile on your face so that the person thinks yes this person is listening to me and is attentive all right then we move to body contact now this body contact is um, very very important because it's you must stay at an arm's length in a professional setup Always remember. So your body, your shoulders, your arms don't have to touch. You don't have to hug each other. A good, firm handshake is very, very effective. And that already conveys how confident you are, how much into the conversation you're going to be, how is this meeting going to go ahead. All right? But suppose you you extend your hand to meet some uh, greet someone, and that person just gives you tips of his finger. So you're basically shaking the tips of the finger. You know that this person is not serious. This person is very casual. So then you know you just a uh, sender of the message loses that interest. Okay, and it's also considered invading someone's space in a professional setup it has to be a very very uh, distinct arm's length distance now sounds let's not go anywhere I, I will give you my own example I laugh like a monster I laugh as if I'm never going to be able to laugh ever again in my life so walls even shake when I laugh but of course not when I am at work not when I am uh, in a professional setup. Uh, I have to see the degree of comfort I have with people. I have to see the ambience. I have to see if it's a meeting, if it's an interview. Imagine if I laugh like a monster in an interview. Do you think they're going to hire me? No matter how funny I sound or seem, but they'll say, what the hell? You know, so unprofessional. So you have to control these kind of things. If, you're, if your decibels are high, you have to ensure that you're not screaming. You have to have a uh, proper, uh, you know, enough amount of voice coming out so that it's effective, it's serene, it's getting conveyed. Now, the last point that I move to is ways of talking. Ways of talking, I wish time had permitted me to actually ask you this, um, but it's a very interesting factor. Ways of talking, um, so hear me out, okay? Uh, I can see Anjali Mishra is logged in. Okay, Anjali, how are you doing today? Um, I like what you're wearing, so, you know, yeah. How was I talking? 
uh, in a very unappreciated way that you yeah, are not as if I had, talking <laughs> yeah I, as if i had just this task to finish and i finished it and got over yeah. it exactly whereas whereas hi anjali i mm. really like what you're wearing mm. you know and i i like how attentive you are in this session so i i really thank you and thank you for coming for this session mm. uh, i appreciate it bye bye now mm. what was the difference uh, you are more happier in greeting me in appreciating me so it's like i'm also attentive and i'm listening to you okay wow wonderful thank you so much so you yeah. feel appreciated you feel exactly. uh, paid attention to mm. now it was just not my choice of words here it's the exactly. tonality i was using it's mm. the intonation modulation there are a lot of factors that go into your way of talking so when i said i really appreciate you wearing so i had an extra stress on really really exactly so really means i really mean it i really mm. mean it so what i'm trying to say is that you must have a little music in your tonality it's very important and if time uh, permits somewhere in future i will get into the technicalities of tonality and how it's all spoken but this was me i hand over to maria from here and i really hope you guys understood what i said and if there are any questions i'm giving you precisely uh forget it i'm not giving you any you. seconds we'll take we'll take the questions probably at the end of the ah. session <laughs> okay all right so over to you maria thank you shobhi uh okay next slide I'll just yes 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 uh so basically what i'm trying to do is i don't know why my presentation got stuck here uh just give me a minute please okay while shobhi is actually figuring it out what we are going to look in the next 20 or 30 minutes is a, there are a few body language blunders that we can avoid yeah we are not looking at all of them but these are few habits that people have and don't even realize that they're doing it and it's a bad habit yes so shall we if you can just show us the first picture okay if you look closely how do you think this man here is sitting please let's be a little interactive uh can i have some videos on so that i can see your body language too i tried looking my at it but my no, bad that's all right that's, that's uh, all right shobhi we can work around yes anybody what do you think this guy how does he look what about me you know sitting down like this and uh, you know say oh come on in a very unprofessional and i say uh, a relaxed manner he is sitting here. yeah is he does he look interested does he look interested no. as there is no seriousness hmm. yeah shreya what do you Amit think da, mr mr bachan from a movie vijay pat okay 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 yeah does he doesn't it show kind of arrogance it shows arrogance actually spot on yeah it shows arrogance shriya anything that you would like to see say sorry i'm going to nominate people since everyone is feeling yeah. a bit shy mani i would like to add here so yes. that you know, as you said rightly arrogance and you know in body language again it's a very important very important thing when you are sitting in front of women and men right for example if if anyone sits like this in front of me i feel extremely uncomfortable yes we generally do not get to see women sitting in this position however when men sit in this position i think it is arrogance once and it is very really uncomfortable for me uh, are women on this forum do you agree with me if yes put Absolutely. it in the box ag so that you know we get to know and many okay. men don't even get to know that Yes. and you know what i do sometimes i take a pause and i sit like that in front of that man 
like this. I said, now tell me, how are you feeling? I have done this in my life. And they're saying we did not even realize. So this is, as you said rightly, it is unconscious. No one is doing it, you know, on intention because it is allowed to sit like this. Hai na? Thoda overconfidence mardan ki hai. Right? Macho types. Absolutely. But I think this is what we all need to be very careful about it. And what I see, say that gently we need to tell people that you need to work on this. <laughs> right? True, 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 Dr. Aparna. Thank you for that. And it also conveys a very lack of interest. Like, you know, speak. You can say whatever you want to say. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Thank you for that. Next, uh, Shobhi, can we can look at the next picture? Now, this picture is exactly the opposite. But if you look at it carefully, it actually conveys two extreme contrasting meanings. Okay, so I, without wasting time, I will try to spill the beans and tell you what it is. Yeah, when somebody actually sits ahead, it actually gives two meanings. Okay, and the first meaning is that, you know, oh, he is extremely engaged, interested, <laughs> uh, very attentive to the conversation. And he's so focused on the speaker and the topic that he wants to go, at, go take a go at it. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you see this, it also comes across as very aggressive, very overbearing. Yeah. So what we want to say, it is so very essential to find a comfortable, natural balance. Yeah. Just aim for a neutral posture. Yes. And uh, we don't, I, I keep emphasizing and we have been we have been emphasizing that it's such a bad habit. You know, these are small habits and we haven't realized that it is part of us. Yes. So remember that body language is such a powerful tool. Yes. It's a powerful tool of nonverbal communication and small adjustments. We all need is small adjustments to make that big difference on how other people perceive us during conversation. Yeah. So let's see, uh, Shobhi, can we have the next slide? Sure. Oh, this is very common. Yeah. People love to stand this way, especially, especially, sorry, excuse the men here, no hard feelings, but men usually stand like this. And for some reason, they love to stand like this in front of women. So, sorry, no hard feelings. These all the men here. <laughs> Thank you for coming. But yes, what do you think does this actually signify? What does this mean? Crossing your mar- arms. So aap jo you. Marji bol- aap jo marji ho, that doesn't make any difference to me. True, true, true. Okay. I am closed. Not, am not closed. interested. Yes, I am closed. Any more? Nominate people. I want others also to say what they feel. Shubham. Shubham has been really quiet. Shubham, what do you think? Sorry, I'm going to show off all the men here. What is it? Not that you do it, but why do people do it? What do you think they want to communicate? Maria, I'm sorry I'm Um, intervening here, but honestly speaking, this particular body language I've seen from everyone, men, women also, you know, uh, that is what is my observation. So I have come across many women as well who sit like this in the meeting or in the car or in the, Okay. sometimes even I sit like this because when I'm not interested. So what is your frame of mind, uh, Dr. Aparna, when you, when you're sitting that way, can you let us know? You'll be better in expressing yourself. Uh-huh. Why do you sit? Touch, batao. Main uh-huh. language mein batao to. <laughs> Bola oh, yeah. main jab sunna hi nahi hai. You know. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Sometimes that is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. perfect. Yeah. You don't want any, you don't want to hear the other person out. Right. Yeah. So best is to keep your arms at the side. Yeah. Have an open body posture. Yeah, it's willingness to uh, engage. You have to show that willingness to engage in a conversation and demonstrate your openness to ideas and interaction. And that's exactly what closed arms do. Okay, just be defensive, be very uh, closed off attitude. Yeah, it 
it actually hinders uh, communication. I don't feel like, you know, I think twice, should I tell this person? Will you tell me off? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Shobi. Shobi, can we have the next ones? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hi, Rajiv. Rajiv, you're looking good today. Nice to see you here. Rajiv, you. Rajiv uh, what is it that you do? Can you tell me about, uh, you know, your profile? Just in short, yeah, just a bit in short. Just what so you do. Uh, yeah, I work in uh, the LMS Sports Foundation as a manager training and uh, quality assurance. So that's it. Yeah, okay, okay. So you saw what I was doing. Somebody at him was actually was telling us something very important about his life. Yeah. And what did I do? Just looked around like, okay, okay, I am doing my part of mine. I was supposed to ask you about your job. Rajiv, with no offense, that's amazing what you do. But yes, what I was trying to convey is that I'm just not bothered. Yeah. I, 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 I'm just breaking eye contact. And uh, it seems like, you know, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. It also shows that I'm maybe nervous. I don't want to have an eye contact. Yeah. And Shobi has spoken about the importance of eye contact. So I won't delve into this a little much more. Uh, but yes, an important very, very important thing is eye contact. Yeah, you need to let that eye contact last. What people do is shake hands and like, you know, look around. It's so sad. Yo, it's a little, it's a, it's a bad habit. Yeah, but we've got worse habits than that. So let's look at the next. Show me. Oh, Lord. Yeah, for somebody, that come, something that comes from me, I love smiling. And sometimes people think I'm crazy because I'll be just smiling because I think it's so much of positivity. Even if it's the opposite person comes in a bad mood, a smile can make things right. Yeah. So this person is not smiling genuinely, I should say. Yeah. Uh, what does it make you feel? From my first experience, sorry, I'm going to take this. And I feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. I wonder whether, you know, what is wrong with this person? Did he have a fight with his wife? Did he just not uh, have a good breakfast? Did somebody, what's what's problem in his life? One smile. It doesn't even take a second just to kind of stretch it. Yeah. It makes the opposite person so uncomfortable. Yeah, so think about it. Next time, I hope, to, I mean, I can see a lot of smiles here. Thank God for it. So I'm I'm on the right path, I guess. Okay, so yes, failing to smile. But smile means not just for the heck of it, a genuine smile. Yeah, it basically also conveys confidence. Yeah, a warm smile, um, it can transform any interaction. Yeah, you exhibit warmness with that smile. Yes. Okay, let's go next, uh, Shobi. Oh, Lord, this is, I mean, all of us are part, have been um, a part of doing this. Yeah, have been really guilty of doing this. Some of us don't even realize it. Yes, we do it unknowingly out of habit, a very, 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 very bad habit. And I can't emphasize it anymore, yeah? It basically says how impatient we are, distracted, disrespectful. It's such a bad habit. How many of us do this thing, okay? We are not answering our phones, but we are sitting here in front in, an, uh, in a meeting with a phone in their hand. What does it tell you? I mean, are you comfortable? Are you even comfortable? What does it tell you? His body Come is on. in the meeting, but his brain is uh, some, somewhere else. Yes, 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 yes. Anything else? He is else? in a hurry. He is in a hurry. Yes, I, I have no time for you. So please, whatever you're saying, make it fast. Yes, though I don't mean it, yeah. We just have this habit of holding the phone in my hand. Exactly. Can you see what it's actually conveying? 
Yeah, it's such a bad habit that people don't even realize that they're doing it. Yeah, we see the phone and the phone, we see a message coming. Oh, we just pick it up. And we don't realize that the person opposite is so uncomfortable. You feel so unworthy. Give me just one, two minutes. Pay attention to me here. Yeah. Okay. Shobi, can we have the next one, please? Yes, sure. So uh, I'd like to give a tiny example over here for this. Well, this, uh, this activity, hypothetically speaking, you, uh, let's say, go to meet somebody at their office. And if this person you are talking you are you're talking about your new project or and you're very passionately talking about and the person sitting across the table is busy looking at the phone so what happens is it breaks the cycle of communication and when the sender of the message uh, gets receiver's intention and understands that the receiver is not interested then the sender also backtracks it breaks the cycle of communication. Thank you, Shobi, okay. for that. Yeah, then this is this pie chart is a visual representation. Yeah, it emphasizes the importance of nonverbal communication. Yeah, if you see 55%, okay, it holds a major part of it, of our communication. Yes, now, um, by mastering, okay, I need to re-emphasize. I know our, our whole webinar is about this. But to tell you, mastering the art of body language, we it is an opportunity to amplify our communication. Yeah, it is a chance for us to establish deeper connections and most important, leave lasting impressions. Okay, so... To summarize, yes, many people have ingrained habits that affect their body language, often without even realizing that it has an impact on the messages that they convey. Now, here I say awareness is the first step. Everybody talks, you know, body language, and we all know theoretically we know we shouldn't be do this, we shouldn't do this, we shouldn't use our hands this way, we shouldn't sit this way but we don't look into ourselves, okay? So awareness is the first step. Once we recognize this, then we can work on correcting them, yes? So today we've delved into the fascinating world of body language and we've seen how it has the potential to be your superpower, yes? As we conclude, I'd like to leave you with a simple but powerful thought. Our bodies, yeah, our bodies just don't carry words. They tell the story of what we mean, everything that we do. It tells us what we mean, how we feel, and who we are at heart. Yes, body language is that powerful. Yes, and uh, thank you for me. Uh, I would like to hand it over to uh, Shobi. Shobi, your parting words on uh, body language before we take questions, yeah, open the floor for questions. So, like I said, um, it's just not the body language, it's the voice tone modulation. So, you can see 38%, 55%, and merely 7% of the words that matter. So, when you're saying the words with the right intention and right body language intention is conveyed through your tonality so um, that's when the entire uh, communication is called effective communication so and you must at the end of every conversation where you have imp imparted some information you must always check for understanding so paraphrase it and also ask, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Or if there are any questions, let me answer them for you so that we are on the same page. That is how we close an effective communication. And um, so I'm, uh, you know, M Maria, there is a, a very important video that I came across. Um, and it's going viral these days. I don't know why, though. Uh, so if you permit, I would like to share. It's a 
barely 30 seconds video, but all of you just pay attention to uh, Trump and Macron's handshake. Okay? Yes. So, now, if you saw, Macron was not leaving Trump's hand. Trump twice tried to release his hand from Macron's hand, but he wasn't leaving. So the handshake should be firm, but should not be so firm that you don't let the person go. Okay, so over to you, Maria. Yeah, I just wanted to share that. Thank you, Shobi. Uh, I'll just open the floor for any questions. Do you have any questions for us? Any questions there? I mean, I know it is a very uh easy i mean we've done body language uh you know workshops webinars and we've read about it uh, and you know we know it all but as i said these are habits which are so ingrained in us that we don't realize that we are conveying messages we have those habits Yes. So uh, uh, self-awareness, that is the first point. OK, so what I'd like you to actually actually after this webinar to think of that one thing that you do, you know, you have a habit. Uh, if you don't realize, ask, ask your colleagues around. What is it that annoys you the most? Yeah. What do you think I do that, you know, uh, irritates you? Yeah, maybe just, you know, putting my hands in the pocket. Simple as that, putting your hands in the pocket and talking uh, to people. Yeah, as simple as always touching your nose or, you know, uh, get, uh, getting your, uh, styling your hair in front of people. All these are habits which basically needs an introspection from you. Yeah, to see uh, like, you know, why and what is it that you are conveying. Yes. So uh, on this note, uh, any questions? We have four minutes. If you want to utilize, ask us any questions. Um, anybody? Did you like the session? Did you find it a bit? Uh, did you find it uh, useful? You can say yes, no. You can say no also. Yes, it was basically a self-awareness. Though you may know all this, it was for you to look into yourself and see what is that habit that you have that really irritates. No questions for us? It's good. Maria, let's take That's one action sign. from everyone. Let's take one action from everyone here. We have four minutes. Yes. So you can think about it and after, just let me complete, Maria. So that is, what is one habit what is one body language you would like to change from today onwards you can unmute yourself put it in the chat box i would love to know what is that one thing now you should you will be very cautious about from now onwards yes basically my uh, my body posture while talking to the other okay and i will be <laughs> closely observing that shubha okay that's good shubha yes uh, I will stop using my phone when my parents are talking to me. <laughs> Amazing. Important. That's a good big round of applause to Anjali. And that to understand, she mentioned very important person that is when I'm talking in front of my parents. And most of the time, you know, when you are in front of your bosses and all, you will not touch that phone because there is a stake there. But what do you do in front of your near and dear ones? Bosses and all these people come later. First come your parents. If we are disrespecting them, then what is it? Isn't it? Great job, Anjali. So keep it up. What is, yeah. uh, you know, what else? Please. Yes, Uman, go ahead, please. Let me know from you. What is it that you're going to change one thing? Thank you so much, Aparna, ma'am, for this opportunity. So uh, I usually try to be gentle with the people, but sometimes I also feel that I become a little dominant by, in terms of body language. So this is one thing that I would like to change in myself that rather than being a dominant, uh, I should be gentle with the people, especially with ladies, How as you always say. gentle with people? Let me know that. How can you be gentle with people? Sure, ma'am. So first of all, my uh, body language should be confident. 
okay because as as we have had a discussion regarding the same that we should use some of the body languages that uh, attracts people for uh, for example we should not be like this we should not cross our arms we should stay straight obviously nature has given us a very good posture i think we should respect that posture that we have uh, already had so we should respect nature we should respect ourselves and we should respect that kind of uh, you can say the inner capabilities that we have so i really feel that being gentle being pleasing being humble is always better than being dominant these words are so magical isn't it thank these you these are so peaceful words like when you say we should be humble we should be respectful wow that itself bring the energy very positive energy wonderful yes thank anyone you. else let me take one more what is that one thing you are going to change you know tanmay is saying way of talking so it is very subjective tanmay so if you say way of talking means what what is that one action that can be for example i will be taking more pauses now that is one action right or way of talking can be like for example i will be more concise instead of adding too many words here and there here and there and i mean to say this no i will be more concise that means you will work on your vocabulary so when we when we also give this order to ourselves that i will be way of talking means what so it is only tanmay do there are many people here they will say i'll be more focused i will be more watchful are but what take only one action right so now tanmay is saying tone so we are all blessed with lot of positive attitude, you know body language tonality everything but you know when it get tested when you are in that difficult situation that means you want to run away from that meeting you don't want to contribute in that meeting you don't want to you know maybe do certain thing ab aapka aapke body pe control nahi hai and that is the time you need to be more cautious and think that how you can shift your auto response to manual response auto response is meri hansi nikal gayi are kaise nikal gayi galat jagah pe nikal gayi wo mehangi padegi aapko right or wrong right but now your auto response is coming and you are changing and saying i want to put myself in a manual mode and i will change my body response am i making sense to everyone and let me give you only one tip wherever you are right now let's breathe in breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out and now smile when you smile you will see your energy shifting so smile gives you a power to manage even your emotions kai bar you may not be able to do it naturally but when you force sometimes smile aapne kabhi aise haste haste gussa aate hue dekha hai aise gussa aate hue dekha nahi aayega kyunki that is not natural it is not normal so sometimes if you are not in good mood sometimes you are not liking certain thing just breathe in and smile you will see a certain shift happening and that's the power of body language you must have seen animals also have a body language right when they feel fearful if dogs feel fearful they shrink tortoise shrink right but they want to when you want to become a confident you open so your confidence your way of talking everything your personality depends on body language don't take it for granted at the beginning you may need to put some conscious efforts over a period of time that will become your habit okay i think let's bring our right hand up everyone left hand up and bring it together for shobhi and maria for giving us those wonderful wonderful reminders thank you so much wonderful session thank you thank you dr anjali for ending it up on such a good note yeah thank you thank you everyone thank you
Thank you, everyone, uh, for coming in. Uh, nice as a parting, yeah. as a parting gift, uh, Maria will be sending you a video that you can, you know, because in the session we were only discussing what we do wrong. Mm -hmm. So as as a parting gift, we'll be sending you a short video of reminding how what, can you uh, implement positive body language. All right. You so it will be shared with, with you. With share with all the attendees here. Yes. So, you, so thank, thank you. you so very much, all of you, for participating in this. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you.